How's it going everyone? Connor here with the diamond and well, this was not the topic that I was planning on discussing this week, but because this is such a huge situation and it has such far reaching impacts on the MLB season, I feel like we do need to talk about it. So a couple of days ago, we put out the first episode of Around the Horn, which is our weekly MLB recap series. If you haven't seen that video yet, the link is in the description below. But while we were in the process of editing and uploading that video, some major breaking news came out that really has the power to derail the entire MLB season before it even really begins. For those of you unaware of the situation, on Monday, reports started surfacing that multiple players and coaches within the Miami Marlins organization had tested positive for COVID-19. Now, this is the first major outbreak that really any of the major sports have had to deal with since the pandemic began and since major sports started coming back from that pandemic. Of course, a lot of people, including, I assume, Commissioner Mann for himself, realized that positive tests were going to play a key role in how the season was going to go. We're obviously still in a pandemic situation. COVID-19 is still a very infectious disease, and a lot of the teams are playing in cities where there are still active outbreaks. But even then, I don't think anybody could have predicted this big of a situation this early on into the season. So today, Let's talk about the Marlins situation. How did we get here? Where are we now? And where do we go from here? So how did we get here? Well, this story really begins on Friday, shortly before the Marlins opening day game against the Phillies in Philadelphia. At that time, their catcher, Jorge Alfaro, became the first player on the Marlins to test positive for COVID-19. When the news came out, he was scratched from his start and distanced from the rest of the team per MLB's protocols. And overall, it wasn't treated as that big of a deal. After all, most of the teams in the league had already dealt with a couple of positive cases. So the Marlins having a positive test show up wasn't necessarily an unprecedented situation. However, what made the situation more serious was that on Sunday, three more players would end up testing positive. Now, when they were told about the positive test, MLB gave the Marlins a choice of whether or not they wanted to continue playing the Phillies that day or to sit out the game, and collectively, they chose to play. However, they were held back in Philadelphia for a little extra time at their hotel just to make sure that extra testing could be done and that the situation was under control. And in their credit, that ended up being a really good move in hindsight, because on Monday was when the big news came out. The results of the testing came in and 11 players and two coaches ended up testing positive. What was just a few players was now a full-blown outbreak on the team. And since then, we've had five more players end up testing positive. That brings us to today and what MLB's response to the crisis has been. And to their credit, I think MLB's done a really good job so far of responding to this situation in a decisive and effective manner. Right when the news came out on Monday, they immediately put a pause on both the Marlins and the Phillies seasons to ensure that if there was an outbreak that it was contained before anything else happened. In addition, they've completely rewritten the schedule, at least for those teams on the eastern half of the country. For example, New York was supposed to be playing Philadelphia right now, and Baltimore was supposed to be playing the Marlins. However, with both teams out of commission for the time being, New York was actually scheduled to play Baltimore for the next three days, and a lot of doubleheaders are currently being scheduled to make up for the games that the Marlins and the Phillies are going to miss. Additionally, both teams have put themselves on daily testing regimens to make sure that the virus isn't spreading amongst their players and to make sure that everything is completely okay before they're cleared to play again. But of course, the question of when they're going to play again is incredibly difficult to answer. 
And it speaks to the question that we probably should be asking right now, which is, where do we go from here? Now, thankfully, luckily, none of the Phillies have tested positive after two straight days of testing. And if that trend continues, then obviously that is the best case scenario for Major League Baseball. If they can successfully contain the outbreak to one team and just have to adjust the schedule for when that team eventually comes back, then I see that as an absolute win. But the calculus changes immensely if, for example, another team on another side of the country ends up having a similar type of outbreak or, God forbid, the Phillies start to have an outbreak in their locker room. Having an outbreak with one team is one thing, but an outbreak involving two or more teams? That's a whole different ballgame. Potentially, it's the difference between simply adjusting the schedule a little bit and potentially canceling the season entirely. And that's not even getting into all of the immense health risks involved for everybody involved in the situation and everybody around them. So for the sake of not just the players, but also the coaches, the support staff, and all of their families, it is imperative that we get this first challenge right the first time. I'm confident that we can contain this, but if we don't, then I really can't say with any confidence that this season should go forward. Because like I said, one team is one thing, multiple teams is a disaster. So with that being said, now I want to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think of this whole Marlin situation? Does it put the season in jeopardy? Do you think that MLB is doing enough to stop the spread of the virus? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for this video. If you liked what you saw, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you can. It really helps us grow. Also, if you're in the mood for more baseball content, be sure to check out our website, readthediamond.com. I just put out a couple of new articles on there, including updated playoff predictions, so be sure to check those out. The link to that is in the description below, as well as the links to all of our social media pages, which you should follow if you want to be updated whenever we post new videos and new articles. A new episode of Around the Horn is coming on Monday, but until then, I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.